Om Shanti. Welcome to 23rd of January's Godly Blessing. Today's Godly Blessing. So Supreme Father says that we that are dependent upon the different salvations and facilities which we have received in our life or we are more focused on our spiritual endeavor. So may you be a most auspicious and elevated soul and become victorious over any adverse situation from nature. Nature could be our physical body, nature can be the gadgets and the things and the comforts which we receive from the five elements. It could be your lighting system, it could be your heating system, it could be your bed, it could be your quilt, it could be your uh, hot water kettle or it could be your phone, it could be your laptop, it could be anything which gives you comfort. So Brahmin souls are most auspicious and elevated souls and nature is the servant of auspicious and elevated souls. That means nature doesn't control us, we control the nature. Mind over matter, not matter over mind. Nature cannot influence auspicious elevated souls. It cannot influence us. That means we cannot get irritated if suppose suddenly the light goes away and I cannot record this. Or let's say simply my battery dies down off this phone and I am like, oof, oh ho, I cannot do this. I am in control of myself. Nature cannot control me. Facilities automatically, so God says, does any upheaval of nature attract you? That's the first question. So check it. Does any upheaval of nature attract you? Because God says nature cannot influence auspicious elevated souls. Again, I'm repeating. So check, does any upheaval of nature attract you? Upheaval of nature means anything in the body, physical body, upheaval in the nature, physical nature, or in the five elements, or even an earthquake. Does nature influence you with facilities and salvation? That's the second thing he's asking us to check. We have received the facilities, salvation is there, comforts are there. Does it influence me? Does it make me lazy? Does it make me over complacent? Facilities automatically come to yogi souls. That means if you're a yogi soul, facilities will come to you. They'll come because five elements get attracted to powerful souls and to the souls who experiment and make spiritual endeavor. The facilities are not the basis of their spiritual endeavor. That means this phone, this laptop or the lighting or the YouTube is not a facility which is the basis of a spiritual endeavor. It should not be. That means if I'm not able to record, if I'm not able to reach out to you, I should not be feeling irritated or frustrated. But it is the spiritual, it is their spiritual endeavor that makes the facilities their support. So if I'm on a spiritual journey, if I'm a yogi soul, if I'm meditating, automatically these facilities will come to me. Somewhere or the other, they'll come over and showcase them so that we are ready at your service. Please do the right work which you are doing. Please do the right deeds which you have been doing continuously and we are here to serve you to do that. That is the power of yogi souls. How do you reach that is what you learn in Brahma Kumaris. As simple as that. Om Shanti.